So my project, okay, my pro my project is about building a capital simple business logic plugin for hyperledger capitals. And my name is Zhen Wang. I currently in Taiwan, enrolled in Texas A M University. My mentors are Raphael, Professor Lu, and Peter. So for the project description, let's. I would like to build the ODAP Open Digital Asset Protocol, denoted at ODAP here, as a business logic plugin. And since how characters to standardize the cross-chain transaction, and most works and uh, password with blockchain interoperability only realize the technical layer. So we integrate ODAP with characters to realize both technical and semantic layer which the technical semantic definition will be discussed later. For the project objective, first I would like to understand the architecture and tools of hyperledger characters, then write code of ODEP. Lastly, write a paper. For the deliverables, a GitHub brand of ODEP hopefully will be able to merge into characters. They will read me of how to use the ODEP, then the paper. So execution accomplishment, I have written code for ODAP protocol and written code to enable cross-chain asset transfer in ODAP and write the paper, though still editing. I'm proud of learning to run write code in the test-driven fashion, that is writing test first, then write code. And the most challenging part for the code is I have to constantly keep up and merge the trends of hyperledger characters main branch since sometimes the tool would be changed. And so my code may not be compatible with that. And also when using some external library outside of characters, they may have some problem. For example, when I'm using the Fabric Node SDK, they miss a TypeScript device declaration. So I make a pro request for that. Uh, unfortunately, that haven't been done yet since I'm busy wrapping up this project. So my thanks for my mentor Peter to teach me how to bypass the problem. So I'll give you a quick characters intro. Characters have some main components and improve the technical layers of blockchain interoperability. First, the component is ledger plugin enable to transact on different ledger. Then the business logic plugin implements the application business logic, interacts through led ledger via the ledger plugins, then the API server. Enable the old plugins, including ledger plugin and business logic plugin to register their service API on the API server. Then the end user can call the business logic plugin API through the API server. However, what lack of character is there's no standardized way for the business logic plugin to make cross-chain transaction. So here comes ODEP, a quick intro of it, and implement the symmetric layer, which is lacking characters. It defines the format of exchanging message and asset profiles. Also define the standard format for Nitrotiation over the security parameters and asset profile, also some application profile nitrotiation, and type of access to assets on the ledger. Lastly, ODEP also define the format of transaction receipts, so we could make a more general proof of the ledger state. And this is the ODEP massive sequence diagram. I'll go quickly through it. It's many composed of three phase. The first is transfer initiation, which ODEP gateways need your TS all the asset profiles and some security parameters. You could view this as the overhead, or deal with the overhead of the protocol. Then is the lock evidence phase. The client ODEP gateway will prove that it has locked the assets on the source ledger. Then lastly is the commit final phase. A client ODEP gateway proves that it has deleted a set on the source ledger. Then the server ODEP gateway proves it has created a set on the target ledger. Then this flow for this flow trust, unfortunately, the, I think the slide is too small to show. So to make, so I give some important points here. 
to make cross tra transaction atomic, the client or that gateway locks and deletes a set and source ledger if and only if the server or dev gateway creates a set and source ledger. Oh, sorry, this is, um, error is to be on target ledger. And we all know it is hard to reverse a ledger state, especially in the cross chain transaction. So instead of directly reverting the ledger state, we decide to have in a reverse operation or call opsy operation. For example, for the lock operation, the opsy operation will be unlocked and delete opposite will be created. So when we so we have defined the action of a smart contract, we need to make sure that you also define and implement the opposite operation. So we have an atomic cross chain transaction. And the last part is ODEP log storage to store data and log in ODEP. Traditionally, there's cloud storage and local storage, but we choose to do a, in additionally a IPFS fashion way to do this. IPFS is a peer to peer file system, and we address the file that not via some URL or something, but via uh, the content of the file the hash of a file. And for the cloud storage, we give that disadvantage here. It's quite obvious that centralization is a big disadvantage. Since we should all usually always avoid centralization when use blockchain. Then is the local storage. Well, sometimes if the business logic product execution process is more complicated, if we rely on the local storage, then the news participate in the execution process will be heavy weighted. And also we need to consider that maybe there's not only two characters node or two or depth loops involved in the process. If there are many lots of loops, then the number of replication will be dependent to the number of the nodes. Seems for every root would need to keep a copy of the data. So here we go to utilization of the IPFS. The first thing is to remove the centralization. And the second thing, since if we store a fixed number of vacation on the IPF, IPFS, we could refer the linear dependency to the number of the nodes. Therefore, we bypass both the disadvantage of the cloud storage and local storage. And recommendation for future work. First, I think the re recommendation will be finish the implementation of right ahead log of ODEP to provide crash recovery tolerance. And since we are talking about crash recovery tolerance, we should also talk about Byzantine tolerance, though not a traditional environment of Byzantine. Since characters and ODEP will not be for the public execution process but we should also decide how ODEP could receive malicious node. And the last one is the dynamic ODEP node execution. We will consider the process will be very long and complicated. It is natural to think that some node will join and leave in any time. So we need to deal with that. And also, utilize IPFS to help data integrity. Well, this one is I just put in here in one or two hours ago. This will work in the scenario that when a node will want to join the ODEP node execution, and he, he, you, the node will need to get the data to verify the transaction or the execution, then it should get from elsewhere. And since IPFS could have could have could would record all the changes of the file content. I've think of, about that. If they could help the data integrity to help the newly drawn root quickly get the data is needed. And project output or result first is the GitHub branch of the ODEP, and the second is the package of the README. So how to use the ODEP pack package, and last is we will have a paper about this implementation and architecture design. 
and some insight gain and advice. The first is you should constantly keep up with the membrane branch since the membrane will be trained some code or tool. So if you don't keep up with the membrane, then your code may be not compatible with the membrane. And also don't try to reach out if there are some questions. And ask your question more specific so other could help you also more specifically. And thank you for my mentors and the hyperledger community. And thank you for everyone listening this. Any questions and feedbacks? Thank you, Jason. As uh, one of the mentors, I just wanted to say that I think you did a really great job and it was an honor to to be the mentor, one of the mentors. And uh, the OREP plugin is definitely an important milestone for Cactus in terms of uh, the, the actual foundational goals of the project. So thank you very much. Yes, thank you also for mentoring me. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, it, you know, I hear again and again, and from your experience as well, that, you know, the community is very welcoming and uh, sounds like, you know, uh, all of you are gaining confidence to ask questions and perhaps ask questions in a way to facilitate, to, to solicit the uh, kind of a productive feedback. Um, so I think those are all really great learning outputs that we're looking for as well. Um, I know, so the paper that you're going to be writing, is that going to be an academic paper that you're working with, uh, uh, Rui? Is that yeah. what the paper is? So it's not a documentation, it's more of a academic research paper. Yeah, it, okay. hopefully it should be an academic paper. Yeah, let us know when that gets written and published. We will, you know, be happy to read and uh, see if there's a way to promote as well. Yes, thank you.